so how do you, you personally, how do you muster up the courage mm. to go and make disciples? Mm. You know, even the way, so muster, I, in order to have courage, I, I can't find much looking in, but mm -hmm. I can find much looking out. So yeah. practically, just like we see in New Testament, Acts 4, pray. Pray for boldness. Mm -hmm. So I, I pray. I pray specifically, practically. Mm -hmm. God, give me boldness. I'm about to, I'm about to sit on a plane next to somebody mm -hmm. who doesn't, who may not know you. So mm -hmm. give me boldness. And mm -hmm. as I, as I spend time with this man who I know doesn't follow Christ and set up coffee time mm -hmm. with him. Okay, then how can I? I want to pray practically for boldness mm -hmm. to say exactly what needs to be said. And then, so I want to pray intentionally, and then remind myself of the gospel that. All right, if I, I'm sitting next to somebody who doesn't know Jesus, I want to remind myself, hey, this is, this is eternity, eternity at stake in this whole mm -hmm. picture. So this is important enough. It's, I know it feels awkward. I know there's some risk involved with me jumping into this mm -hmm. conversation with an unbeliever, but it's worth it. This person's eternity is worth it. And so to, to remind myself of that, to pray for boldness, and then to, to jump in and, oh, that's the beauty of Matthew 28. He says, my presence will be with you. And we need his presence with us.